The Israelites are here today to bring the truth to the so-called black man. All right, my brother right here, my brother Isaiah, my brother Isaiah, I want you to hearken up. All right, listen up. All right, the Bible says we shall know the truth and God's truth will set us free. All right, because right now we are in a, in a, in a, in a dead state right now. Our people are locked, all right, locked in their minds. Read that again. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Is that it? Yes, sir. All right, my brother, my brother Isaiah, what you was just building on um, with, with, uh, with our brother with? You had any questions? Uh, nah, not per se. We were just, um, he was asking me if I knew what the Israelites were. Okay. He went to proceed and asked me, because um, I brought up, you know, nationality and ethnicity. And he asked me what my uh, nationality slash ethnicity was. Okay. And I said, I haven't really... So you said you you're, you're familiar with us being the Israelites, though, right. right? So why what's the what's the issue with going down that path? Um, mainly just probably just never had the time to sit down and figure out what it was. It's crazy because every time I go to jail, I always have the time. Okay. Like, All right. Is this, get ready to go to work now. I'm okay. ready to work now. Right. You know, it seems like I don't know what it is. It seems like every time I get closer to this, it seems like something takes me. Let's establish this. We are the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the people that you see on this sign right here. We are the Israelites, all right? And this Bible proves it. We're not just saying it. We're not just shooting, a, shooting something in the dark. The Bible proves it, and history proves it. And guess what? We have the books to prove it. The books, using this Bible as the foundation, we got records written by so-called white men themselves that, we, that we're not going to get shown in our uh, schools that we're not going to get taught in college, that we're not even going to get taught in our churches. You understand? This Bible is full of dark-skinned people, full of black people, all right? Job chapter 30, verse 30. Uh -huh. My skin is black upon me. The Bible says that jo Job says that his skin is black upon him. Give me another one. Give me, uh, give me uh, Jeremiah 14, all right? So what I want to prove to you is that this book is full of dark-skinned people just like us. Stay with me. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourneth, uh -huh. and the gates thereof languish. So the Bible says that Judah mourneth. Judah is of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right? Christ sprang out of Judah. All right? Read. They are black. They are what? They are black. The Bible says that the Jews are black. And you said, well, what did we just say? That the, the Moors are considered what? Black, right? The word Moor is just another word for black, okay? They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. And the cry of Jerusalem has gone up. So my brother, this book is just full of dark-skinned people. You know that Christ is black. Give me that. All right? The Bible says that Jesus Christ himself was a so-called black man. He would be considered a nigger today. You understand that, my brother? He'll be considered a I, Negro I today. Before, and now we're about to prove it out of the Bible, all right? Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Mm. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Three. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Right, his hair and his hairs was, was white like wool. Who got woolly hair in the earth, my brother, Isaiah? Black people, right? This is clear to see, all right? As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, because like we just mentioned before, right, brothers who drink, what color do their eyes tend to turn? It, it tend to turn a little red. Red, right? So you drink a little bit, your eyes get a little discolored after a few drinks. And his feet like unto fine brass. So now we're describing Christ's feet. So just as we can see your feet, if you didn't have no socks on, would, those, would your feet look any different from the rest of your body? No, right? So if your feet is brown, what's the rest of your body? Brown, right? 
So read that part again. And his feet like unto fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. The Bible says not only is it like is it like brass, which is the color of brown, Isaiah, but it's also as if it burned in a furnace. So what is that saying? That Christ is a what? He's a Negro. He's a so-called black man. Right. Right? You see how clear that is? Now, how is it that I've gone throughout my entire life and I've never read that before in church? We're talking about Jesus Christ, the most prominent figure in uh, Christianity. But they've never read that to me. I've never read it before. Before I came into the knowledge of, oh, I'm an Israelite? Right? Have you ever read this before? You have? Good, good. All praise it. So you can understand that this Bible is full of, the, uh, of, of black people, right? Uh -huh. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So what's happening right here, right? The Lord said he's going to bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So this time around, right, the Israelites has broken God's commandments. Broken God's commandments, all right? We are a mighty nation, and we broke the Lord's uh, rules and regulations to stay inside of his land. All the people that you see on that side right here, all right? Judah, Benjamin, Levi, so on and so forth, okay? So I'm building to something right now. Going back to your point about why should I follow the more science, all right? So we're going to show you a little bit of where it comes from. Why do our people get involved in these things? I don't think it was necessarily... Kind of laws? Yeah. What, what kind of laws uh, did you see that our brothers that called uh, that, that practice more science? What kind of laws did you see them get exempt from? Was it killing somebody? What, what, what kind of laws did they have issues uh, with? Just being mainly illegally stopped. Illegally stopped, and yeah. you you uh, saying that they were able to what talk their way out of a situation? Somewhat, but uh, okay. they're not subject. They're not subject to a lot of the laws that us Americans have to have to withstand. You know, and that that's that's one of the I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna object to that, bro. You know why? Because there's plenty of people that they now. There's plenty of people on the news right now, right? That's getting uh, uh, false sentences, right? They getting put in prison. They getting put in jail. They getting beat on by the cops, right? We getting done wrong. Uh, 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 what is who? What's his name? Ahmad Aubrey. All of these different people, right? So, for for the, the so-called more science people to have something uh, that, that'll be able to set us free as a people, it won't work with all of us, all right? So they can, they can talk all of that stuff. They can talk, oh yeah, I know the laws, but we're all subject to the law because we're all owned by the so-called white man. He can do whatever the hell he want. If he wanted to come right now and shut it down, we can't say nothing. It don't matter how much we blurt out a bunch of laws that he should abide by. They don't abide by their laws. So much less how we gonna do it. All we can do is do what this Bible says, and the Bible says that we're subject to the higher powers. But watch this, watch this. Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Uh -huh. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. The Bible says today the Israelites are yet this day still in their captivity. You understand what we're saying, Isaiah? This is what the Bible say. It say to this very day, the so-called black men... It, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't spark that, bro. Don't spark that. All right? We want you to... We want you to uh, 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 respect your temple. Respect God's holy temple. All right? You don't need that cigarette, fam. All right? The Bible says we are yet this day in our captivity. All right? Meaning we're still in slavery. Where thou hast scattered us. Where God has scattered us in slavery. Read. For a reproach and a curse. For a reproach and a curse. It's a curse that we can't even abide by their rules. And we still get put to death. Why? Because we're hated here. This is not our, this is not our place. This is not our language. This is not our culture. This is not our land. You understand? All of the things are subject unto the Lord. Watch this. Let every soul be subject 
unto the higher powers. But there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. So everything that happens to us, the Lord knows of it. He is control of everything. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, his word, his word. <laughs>